Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on the XRP Alert channel. I am Rich, and I am once again making another video on XRP today. As always, I am with you. XRP is going to be the topic of discussion today, so I hope that each and every one of you is having a beautiful day wherever you are in this amazing planet. I have to begin with this because a lot of people constantly asking me why I can't buy RLUSD. I have to answer their question. You are going to be able to keep RLUSD, and I will explain the reason for this in a moment. No one is excluded from RLUSD. The phrase not meant for retail does not exist in any language. It is necessary to have retail and institutions in order to have a compelling environment. Institutions that are now ramping up with RLUSD to the XRP ledger and distributing it to retail and other institutions through SEX, AMS, and other channels. Take into consideration the fact that you are currently holding XRP on the exchange because of this. While it is possible to convert your XRP into USDC, Circle does not allow you to purchase USDC straight from the company. When it comes to RLUSD, the same thing is going to develop. After it becomes live, I have no doubt that a great number of people will be holding it. To clarify that, I just wanted to say that. The severe criticism levied by Raul Paul at holders of XRP and Cardano. The specifics are where the devil is right now. The opening sentence of this article should contain your writing. An influential figure in the media former cryptocurrencies, such as Ripple's XRP and Cardano's ADA, should be avoided by investors, according to Raul Paul, media personality who is well known. Who has their hands on the media? In addition to the large firms, BlackRock, what this means is that if they are telling me that I should not be holding XRP or ADA, which are both examples of ISO cryptocurrencies, then it makes me want to hold them even more. They expect us to leave. The argument that Paul is making is that older coins are no longer as important as they once were because they lack an inventive edge in comparison to the current market. This is despite the fact that the legal struggle may have favorable effects. Cryptocurrency that is more recent. Allow me to share something with you, even though I have no idea whether or not this individual lives under a rock. Right now, XRP, which is Ripple's attempt to implement an interledger protocol, is capable of doing either 1 million or 1 trillion transactions per second. Multiple pivots were made by Ripple, which pushed XRP in the direction of all the money. Moreover, he wants us to go out and make investments in more recent cryptocurrencies. No, I am grateful to you, Raul Paul. I have a stake in the upper class people. A 20 million XRP purchase was made by Crypto Whale from the top Korean exchange. In Korea, they are simply purchasing XRP in large quantities. It is possible that people may give Bitcoin less of their attention because they could care less about it. It is clear to them what the future holds. It would be beneficial for Raul Paul to have a look at the current situation in Korea. According to the 99-year Golden Eagle model, which takes into account XRP's utility merely as a medium of exchange, the value of XRP on the fair market extends to five digits. Currently, this is a component of that idea of buyback. Do you recall when they were conducting all of these valuations on XRP for whatever reason? What they are stating is that according to their estimate, the value of XRP should be $13,386 by the year 2030. Having said that, I have never invested a significant amount of money in these models, and I do not believe that the Federal Reserve will be the one to buy back your XRP. According to what you can see below from Eleanor Tourette, we have received proposed terms from Vayhill from token holders who are already participating. Included among these are ESDRs with a value of $37,500 per token, reserved rights to receive airdrops to the XRP ledger, complete debt forgiveness, and a tax discount for token holders and their successors. However, this is contingent upon the Federal Reserve purchasing back your XRP. In my opinion, the Federal Reserve would never be the one to execute it. This is something that I believe is happening very quickly with the Federal Reserve, and I will explain more as we move forward. The tokenizer is the source of this. The tokenization of monetary institutions is now a distinct possibility. An article on the future of tokenized money and assets was recently written by a New York Fed engineer and a BI's advisor for ENIAC. The article was made possible by a collaborative effort. And additionally, they made a direct reference to the role that the New York Federal Reserve played in Project Agora. It is quite evident that the leaders of central banks are now becoming aware of the fact that the future of finance will be tokenized. Furthermore, they highlight the decentralized feature of assets being moved about as easily as paper through the utilization of distributed ledger technology. It appears that the Federal Reserve and the Bank of International Settlements are working jointly. The reason for this is that the BIs is being in charge of everything. Therefore, in the event that there was ever going to be a buyback, I believe that the buyback would eventually take place through the best. On the other hand, I believe that they are betting on the fact that the majority of people will end up selling well before XRP ever reaches these price thresholds. It will be almost impossible to shop in retail. By the time XRP reaches $1,000, 99% of retail will have been exhausted. On the other hand, this is also true for various alternative cryptocurrencies. All of them are components of ISO 222 XLM, XDC, HBAR, QT, Algo IOTA, and ADA. Give me one compelling reason why the Federal Reserve would put an end to the currency. The Federal Reserve has been killing the dollar for a considerable amount of time, but the damage is considerably more extensive. It enters the realm of globalization. 
At this very moment, please give this a listen. The only occasion in my whole life that I have ever witnessed a central banker being completely truthful. Wow. That is just fantastic. There is an effort being made to establish a digital transaction control grid, which will provide information regarding what you are able to do with your money, when you are able to do it, and where you are able to do it, and where you are able to go. In the event that they do not want you to be able to use your money more than five miles away from your residence, then that is okay. If you are five miles away from your home, your money will stop working. If they make the decision to double the amount of taxes, they will simply take the money out of your account. You are aware that there is, and it is consisting entirely of taxation with no representation whatsoever. And the fascinating thing about it, once they get the system into place, it won't even be, I, I believe it won't even be your national central bank that will control, it will be the bank of international settlements and the, you know, the global systems that will control. In accordance with what she stated, the BIs will be in charge of it. The BIs will eventually become the sole global financial institution. It will be the bank that tops all other banks. Consequently, if they were to buy back your XRP, that is the person who would be doing the buying back. The expense of living will continue to rise indefinitely, and this is not due to the existence of capitalism. The structure of the financial system was purposefully built in this manner. Inflation is not a defect, but rather a feature. Every single thing that you require in order to stay alive will, by design, become more expensive with time. On top of that, this is what is taking place right now. As I mentioned before, the Federal Reserve is responsible for both the creation of inflation and the fight against inflation. However, have you taken note of the things that do not actually increase in value? The factors that serve to divert your attention. Televisions, toys, software, mobile phones, and services, etc. All of those remain fairly round in the same location for a considerable amount of time. In point of fact, it appears that televisions are becoming increasingly affordable. Go to Walmart, you will soon be able to purchase food and walk out with a free television. The reason for this is that they want to keep you divided. They want to tell you everything that they have to say as quickly as possible. To put it another way, they want to maintain our political divisions until they are satisfied. On the other hand, they also intend to divert your attention with Bitcoin. Hey, if you are considering shifting away from the United States currency, you should consider storing your money in Bitcoin. And this is yet another significant distraction. You, however, are too intelligent. You are causing the disturbance to continue. What the elites consider to be the future is in your possession. What are the means by which the money will disperse over the globe? What is going to impact the worth of things all around the world? XRP and a few other cryptocurrencies that are ISO compliant. Distraction is the key to success here. In any case, let's return for a moment to the Federal Reserve. So, you are interested in learning the true reason. Are those who support globalization going after Russia? Uh, hear the explanation from retired United States Army Colonel Douglas McGregor. Globalist elites are in control in Europe, just as they are in control here in the United States. Our governments are now under the influence of the same individuals who previously controlled our financial institutions and the mainstream media. Due to the fact that Russia is the last remaining powerhouse in Europe, they intend to destroy it, having its own distinct national identity. Do you know what the globalists have done to us? In order to accomplish their objective of eradicating our national identity, they swamped our countries with immigrants. Furthermore, they will eradicate our central bank, which is the Federal Reserve, due to the fact that everything is becoming global. You are now going to develop into a citizen of the world. The border is open because of this reason. You are going to be provided with a digital identification card. One of the requirements for a digital ID is going to be this. And all of a sudden, you are going to be a citizen throughout the entire world. In addition to this, the same thing is already taking place in other countries. But we are working toward a future in which everything is the same. A single currency for the entire world. There is only one religion in the world. Due to the fact that you are going to invest your money in something that is going to continue to lose value over time, I find the concept of that to be incomprehensible. It would be more beneficial for you to convert your cash into gold, silver, or even real estate yet, real estate yet. Real estate is still highly expensive at the moment to purchase. As cryptocurrency continues to rise, I anticipate that it will eventually decrease. Breaking news Walmart in Canada will no